hey guys welcome back to my channel as you already see by the title we'll be installing this flawless 5x5 closure wig that was provided to me by ali grace hair this video is sponsored by ali grace hair so thank you ali grace for sending me this wig so this wig is a 24 inch straight 5x5 closure wig i'm going to leave all the details and as well as a direct link to the wig in the description box below so you guys can you know check it out this wig is pretty affordable i have a regular lace not a hd lace or anything so it will blow your mind how this lace is melted to my scalp at the end of the video and I, i'm sure you already saw it in the beginning of the video how melted the lace is but i'm just going to walk you through you know the steps on how i install my wig i didn't show the part where i bleached the knots and plucked the lace just because i have a whole video on my channel dedicated to how to bleach your lace pluck your lace tint your lace and all that stuff so i'm going to link that in the description box below so you can watch that then you know how to pluck your lace close your wigs and stuff like that but moving on this wig is completely glueless as you know i didn't use any type of adhesive or any type of wig glue or lace glue i just used a got to be spray which is pretty much like a holding spray that you could use for your actual hair i always say to not forget to cut the tabs of the lace because that is important in installing any type of closure wigs if you do not cut this then the sides of your wig would actually be bulky i always 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 say this in every of my closure installs because it's really really important another thing that i forgot to mention is after i plucked the lace bleached it and all that i went ahead with using my foundation on um the lace itself so that's also important in installing your wig as well if you have like a concealer or a foundation that's close to your skin tone or your exact skin tone just go ahead and you know add that to the lace it's going to make a huge 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 difference a really important step that you should not miss whenever you're using holding spray to you know lay down your lace is to always comb the lace as often as possible don't dry the lace without combing it out and also when you're drying the lace or drying the glue not glue sorry the holding spray always comb it out when you're doing that like i didn't used to do this and i would wonder why my the hair on my lace would be so clumped up but when i started combing the hair on the lace while i blow dry it or while i put the holding spray on it makes a huge difference just do it while i'm cutting the lace um, the extra lace on my wig i try to do this as raggedy as possible i don't want like a clean cut because obviously no one's hairline is you know a straight line that's just unrealistic and also i take my time with it i don't cut everything at once so meaning like i could cut like a little bit of extra lace and then look at it and then go back and then redefine i just take my time with the process that's what i'm trying to say and you should also take your time with the process because to get it perfect like at one go i mean if you're professional yes well as a beginner and you know a regular person as i am you just have to keep doing it like in the best possible way that would work for you if that makes sense So by now everyone knows that you must have like a wax stick or some type of wax for your hair because it just changes your hair game having a wax stick or having like any type of cup wax for your wigs is a game changer definitely a game changer and i find that when you add you know the hot comb with this it just finishes the job like it cleans it out when you run like the hot comb on your wax on your hair like i don't know if that made sense what i just said now it makes a difference when you put the wax on your hair and then you run the hot comb on it it just lays down your hair like that hair is not going anywhere and it's going to be on flat flat i just kept playing around with the closure you know just to see how i wanted it to look on me 
but I was using the wax to kind of like define the hair on the, on the lace just to see where it falls and all that stuff which you could definitely play around with you know depending on how you like your closure to look and then I had initially gone and I straightened the wig before I put it on but I just ran like uh, the straightener on the hair like one last time it's a really quick install and I recommend 5x5 five five closures because oh my god it is it is everything okay like no more frontals the stress of frontals and all that anyway i'm going to leave all the links in the description box below so go ahead and check ali grace hair out you're going to love 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 ali grace hair and also it is affordable so girl grab it every link like i said earlier is going to be in the description box below thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye